Hello friends, thank you for joining us to begin secret agent training. We are so excited that you are going to be helping us. As you know, God gave us big missions to complete. We need to make the world a better place, which is not an easy thing to do. But with your help, we can really do it. We will be your teachers for your 11 weeks of training. I'm Agent Emily. We have Agent Kelsey, Agent Glenn, and Agent Tetley. We will give you everything we can to help you become the best secret agent of God that you can possibly be. We're so glad you're here with us. Hello again, secret agents in training. How is everything going? How are those missions going? How are the lessons going? How's everything going? Well, we're very excited to be back with you this week, and I am going to read you another story, this time about the chief priest. Now I'm going to take these glasses off, reveal my true identity, but remember, it's a secret. The chief priest came to Jesus in the temple. Who do you think you are? to act the way and spend time with bad people, they ask. So, get this, the chief priests are asking Jesus who he thinks he is because he spends time with people that he feels need his help, that need to hear the message that he has. And the chief priests think they know better than Jesus. Yeah, that's not true. So Jesus answered their question with another question, and he confused them. He said, he told them this parable. A father said to one son, go work in the vineyard. That son said no. But later, he changed his mind, and he went and worked in the vineyard, just like his father had asked. The man told his other son the same thing. He told that son, go work in the vineyard. Well, that son said that he would work. He said, okay, dad, I'll go work in the vineyard. But he didn't do it. So, which of these two sons obeyed their father? Well, the chief priests thought about it and they said, the first one, the first one obeyed the father. Because even though he said no at first, he did what his father asked him to do. Jesus said, yes, think about it. The people who you think are bad are like the first son. They've done bad things, but they've changed their ways. You are like the second son. You may say that you are good, but you don't act that way. I think Jesus gave the chief priests a lot to think about, guys. And I think we all know that some people may walk around saying how good they are, but maybe they don't always treat people the way that we know that God wants us to treat people. And some people, you know, maybe they've gotten into a little trouble in their lives, but they've realized that, and now they're trying to do better. So try to be careful about not judging people, and try to remember that we are all trying to improve ourselves in the eyes of the Lord. Okay, so now I need you to pull out your special mission instructions for week five, okay? Review them, see what your mission is, do the lesson, and good luck. Perfectly match, but that's okay, right? 
God knows that we all make mistakes, even those of us who are all grown up. The important part is that we own it when we make the mistake, and I'm owning it, that was my mistake, and we do better in the future, right? You guys are good at that. But the coolest part is that no matter what else we do as secret, secret agents, we know the most important part is our mission, right? And you guys can still do this mission. So this week, what I want you guys to focus on is doing something kind for an animal. Now, there's lots of different ways to do this, right? You get to put your thinking cap on and come up with the best way you can do it. Maybe you have a pet that you could spend a little extra time with. Take a dog for an extra long walk. Or maybe you could donate something to your local animal shelter. Did you know that they need like old towels and dish towels or bath towels, things like that you can take to them? You can look on the website and see if you have anything just lying around your house that you might want to take there. Or you can go online and look up places that you can donate to that maybe help endangered species. There's tons of ways to do this. I'm giving you guys a really open mission because by now you're getting to the experts. And I want you guys to kind of explore and come up with something. And then I want you to let us know, how did you fulfill this mission? What animal did you decide to do something kind for? I'm excited to see what you guys are all doing. Talk to you soon. Oh wait, I think I made another mistake. We need to pray. See, we all make mistakes. But you guys probably caught that one too. You're very smart secret agents. Will you pray with me? Okay. Put your prayer hands together. Dear Lord, we thank you for this chance to gather again, to learn great stories, do great activities, complete important secret missions, and a reminder that we are all people and we make mistakes. That's why we're so glad to have you, God, because you forgive us all the time. We are so grateful to have you as our Father in heaven. God, please give us lots of secret agent energy this week and lots of good ideas so that we can be kind to all of your animal creations. We love you, Jesus. Amen. See you guys next week.